Hey there, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be talking about 10 things you didn't know about Judge Judy. But before we go on to that, if you end up liking this video, please like and subscribe, it helps us out a ton. And without any further ado, let's get on to the countdown. Number one, she's actually a retired judge. In New York's family court and be a witness to the ways in which law and disorder works or doesn't. Stay long enough, you'll see it all. Don't worry, Judy Scheindlin, aka Judge Judy, is not just some actress hired for entertainment purposes while the real judges do the actual work behind the scenes. Nope, she's the bona fide real deal. She earned her jury's doctor degree and passed the New York State Bar in 1965 when she was just 23 years old. She subsequently worked as a lawyer before Mayor Ed Koch appointed her as a judge in the criminal court. By 1986, she was promoted to supervising judge and worked specifically in Manhattan's family court. After presiding over 20,000 cases, she retired in 1996 at the age of 54. But her career was just getting started. With a scalpel. So your objections noted. It's overruled. Have a seat. No, no, listen to me. This is not a tea party. You make an objection. I Number two, she originally didn't want the show named after her. When you look down at people and, and you're insulting them, usually, all the entire time, do you lose faith in humanity? You know, I think that as you get older. Judge Judy is now a household name, a cornerstone of dramatic courtroom television, no-nonsense slapdowns, and funny YouTube compilations. Hot Bench doesn't quite have the same ring to it, but that is almost what we got. According to Miriam Webster, a hot bench is a judge that actively questions lawyers presenting appellate arguments. However, the producers advised against the name, as it would confuse viewers who are not familiar with legal terms. They wanted something punchy and attention-grabbing. Judy then brainstormed the rather corny Judy Justice before settling on the now iconic Judge Judy. We think she made the right decision, don't you? Um, the world around you, and when people fight over minutia, and ruin their lives, you know, a period of their lives fighting over... Number three, her show revitalized reality courtroom television. ...and help yourself. Plus, we'll talk politics, gun control, and much more. You have to take a test to give a pedicure, but you can go and buy a... Re reality courtroom television was quite popular throughout the 80s, thanks primarily to the People's Court, but interest was beginning to wane by the late 90s. Both the People's Court and the Divorce Court, which had been sporadically airing since 1957, came to an end in 1993. Jones and Jury, a replacement of sorts for the People's Court, ended after just one season in 1995. Things looked dour for the reality courtroom drama. Enter Judge Judy, which premiered in September of 1996 and became a quick success. The People's Court returned the following year, Divorce Court was brought back in 1999, and a host of imitators including Judge Mathis and Judge Joe Brown soon followed. ...weapon including an assault drive with nothing more than your driver's license. Judge Judy is next on Larry King Now. Number 4. She was honored with the Scheindlin Forum. My birthday was October, October 21st. I was 76. Wow. Now... Judge Judith Scheinlin has had a profound impact on civil discourse. Her work and legacy were honored by the USC Annenberg School for Communication and Journalism, who built the Scheinlin Forum in their Wallace Annenberg Hall. The forum also honors Judge Judy's husband, Judge Jerry Scheinlin. The forum is meant to promote intelligent civil discourse and also serves as the host of the USC Annenberg Debate Series. It's a great way to honor Judge Judy's career and legacy, and it's a fantastic space for young adults to learn the value in complex but civil, principled, and morally ethical discourse. I feel young, except when I look in a full-length mirror. Yeah, well, <laughs> sure. Yeah. <laughs> then, yeah. then, then I have, then it all comes back, because, yeah. you know. I mean, Number five, she is always briefed on the case. In one form or another for 50 years, lawyering and judging in, in one venue or another. So do I think I have it figured out? Judge Judy may air on television for our entertainment, but the cases and rulings are 100% genuine. Even before she enters the studio, Judge Judy has a firm grasp on the contents and relevant information of the case, as the producers send her the pertinent details of each case before she shows up on set. She reads the necessary information at home before traveling to Los Angeles to film each episode, and it may surprise you to hear that while the cases are real, the audience is not. The audience is often composed of aspiring actors who are paid a low hourly rate to sit in the room and look intently interested in the case. Where do we sign up? ...that I ever did. 
they and they had it on cue cards. I said, what happens if the guy with the cue cards messes up? What happens if he puts one in front of I couldn't do it. Number six, she has always worn her signature lace collar. When you think of Judge Judy, what do you see in your mind? While her hair and stern expression are undoubtedly memorable, it's a particular item in her wardrobe that has become the most iconic. The lace collar has always been a part of Judy's wardrobe, dating all the way back to her time in family court. She bought her first lace collar in Greece while vacationing with her husband, and she decided to incorporate it into her professional wardrobe. She later admitted that she wore the cute collar to disarm and throw off litigants, as they would let their guard down after seeing such a sweet-looking judge. Needless to say, they would be hit with a major curveball once she began speaking. Uh -huh. We're either nurses, mm -hmm. school teachers, housewives, or nothing. That was it. I mean, those, those were your choices. Number seven, she proposed to her husband. You know, as a prosecutor and then as a judge in the family court, and then here, I enjoyed going to work every day, and it's... Judge Judy knows what she wants, and she's not afraid to go after it. And that's true in her personal life as well as her professional life. According to a profile in Du Jour, Judy met Jerry Scheindlin only three weeks after divorcing her first husband, Ronald Levy. They met at a bar, and Judy literally walked up to him and put her finger in his face, asking, and who's this? Lovely, lovely story, isn't it? She later proposed to him and firmly told him to pick a date. And despite some initial hesitation on his part, he finally agreed, and they married in the late 70s. Despite a brief divorce in 1990, they have remained married ever since. She also has five children, two biological and three stepchildren through Jerry, and more than a dozen grandchildren. Behind the eight ball, and sometimes I'll never be able to get myself out. You're very unafraid to speak your mind, so I'm wondering what was it about your upbringing that made Number eight, Judge Judy was the first highly rated court show to win an Emmy. Queen wand, whatever. I think you've got magic in this scenario. In your queen wand, would you allow cameras into all courtrooms like yours? Oh, absolutely. I think. Judge Judy not only revitalized interest in reality courtroom TV, it also gave the genre a quality that had never been seen before. In 2013, it won the Emmy for Outstanding Legal Slash Courtroom Program, an award that was introduced in 2008. Prior to Judge Judy, the award had gone to Christina's court, Judge Janine Piero, and last shot with Judge Gunn. However, none of those shows are highly rated or long-running. Judge Judy's win in 2013 made it the first highly rated and long-running reality courtroom show to win an Emmy. The People's Court won in 2014 and 2015, although Judge Judy reclaimed the crown in 2016 and 2017. In 2019, Judy was awarded the Lifetime Achievement Award for her contributions to television. Really? I don't well, like the cut of this person's jib? No, no, no. Let me tell you. I can tell when someone is lying. I, for instance, take fair-skinned women. Number nine. Bird was Judy's bailiff in family court. She has a ponytail uh -oh, now. Oh, really? Spending so much time myself and having other people spend so much time to make my hair look terrific. Everyone loves Bird, even though he doesn't really do a whole lot. He brings in the litigants, introduces Judy, and then just kind of stands there while occasionally laughing or sauntering over to get a piece of paper. Starting in 1986, Bird began working as a court officer in Manhattan's family court. It was here that he sporadically worked with Judge Judy, and the two quickly formed a harmonious relationship. However, Bird moved to California in 1990 to begin work as a U.S. Marshal. Upon learning that his old pal Judy was getting her own show, Bird sent her a congratulatory letter and offered his service. To his surprise, Judy accepted, and the two have been working together ever since. It's still the queen of syndication. She's been serving up justice for 23 years, and now she's changing up her look. She surprised a lot of people when she debuted a new hairdo behind the bench. Number 10, she has been the world's highest paid TV host. So what I was trying to say was... Don't speak. Don't speak. I know just what you're thinking. Do me a favor, just for my just, own. There are a lot of notable TV hosts out there, but none are as well paid as Judith Scheindlin. Turns out, there's fantastic money in being a reality show judge. In 2018, Judy beat out Steve Harvey, Ryan Seacrest, Dr. Phil, and Ellen DeGeneres to claim the top spot, earning $147 million in pre-tax income. Granted, this was an especially great year for Judy, as she sold the rights to Judge Judy to CBS for $100 million greatly inflating her typical $47 million salary. 
However, $47 million a year is certainly nothing to scoff at. According to Forbes, Judy currently has a net worth of $400 million, making her the 48th richest self-made woman in the country. Anyway, that's the end of the video. If you enjoyed, please like and subscribe. It helps us out a ton. And as always, thank you so much for watching and have a great day.